Uh, you may remember Mr. Lewis. He's a little deflated. He's a friend of mine. And I must run and get one thing. I know this is weird, but I gotta do it. No script. Bam! <laughs> no script. <laughs> Hey now! Okay, so here we go. I'm Hoorah. How's everybody doing tonight? Yeah. If you're doing good, say Hoorah! Yeah. Hoorah! All right. So, do you ever look in your soup and it's spelling something and it's not alphabet soup? <laughs> All right, so we, uh, we are going to start a big concert to pay for patch kits, and we're going to call it Band-Aid. <laughs> You're all welcome to come. Um, in fact, I'm going to hand out free tickets to the front row patrons tonight. That's backstage, by the way. Here you go, sir. There you go, man. Whoops, sorry. Give me another one. One for you. And I got a few more Band-Aids. And one on the ground. All right. Had to do it. All right, so let's go, let's move on here. So, <clears throat> you know what? In this world, it beats us down. The only way to beat that is to laugh it off. Laughter is the best medicine, and I'm a doctor. Practice it. <laughs> Mr. Loon is currently deflated. And we need to let the public know the truth about Loon's past. His charm and charisma allowed him the ability to woo the women by blowing in their ears. It earned him the nickname, Blow Me. <laughs> also true, while in the military, Mr. Loon had a huge addiction to Viagra. Uh, records show that uh, he went above and beyond the call of booty. <laughs> he also got uh, a couple of STDs. <clears throat> and he also was diagnosed with constipation, and he had to get his, I'm sorry you have to hear this a-hole clean. <clears throat> but we wanted to come clean. Now, about my credentials <clears throat> as a doctor, I have none. <laughs> I am still a, uh, professional script writer. And I'll be writing scripts later if anybody needs anything. Done later. Okay, laughter's the best medicine. And so that makes me the lunatic love doctor. Okay, no. Yeah, okay. Um, you know, I have a bachelor's degree and I know a couple bachelors if anyone's looking. I have a PhD. I'm a patch pole dude. As Mr. Learn's personal physician, I also shave his string. <laughs> it's not the fentanyl I gave him to say, to help him sleep. Uh, I say, you're not heavy, you're a balloon. <laughs> he is currently on the top of the list for an air transplant, and we are currently, believe it or not, under investigation for perjury and fake information. We think the FBI bugged us. I know I bug them. I even bug myself. I bug a lot of people. I probably bug a few of you. <laughs> Since I am the voice of Mr. Loon and Mr. Loon Sr., I can't explain how this leak happened. I thought I could trust myself. Mr. Loon was so distraught from the allegations after being interrogated by an alligator in a vest, soon realizing he was an investigator. He drank heavy, coming home that night, smelling of stale air. So deflated, he tried to jump off the, to jump to his death off the third story balcony. Uh. <laughs>